show you the first card. And we actually made this card at class last week. And I think I was kind of starting to say, I don't want to say disaster, but a little bit. <laughs> it was a little bit of a disaster because I wasn't there to like step-by-step -step show everybody because basically people come in as, as they want. It's open, you know, kind of an open time frame, And then they kind of rotate around the tables and make different cards. So I wasn't able to like stand at the table with this card the whole time and tell everybody exactly how to do it. <laughs> So I wish I had done a Facebook Live and said, guys, watch the Facebook Live before you come to class, or maybe I should have been more organized at class. Anyway, I just am so excited to share this card and show you guys how to make it, because it's really, really not difficult. It's just got some steps, and it's good to know the steps in order to do them, right? So, okay, the one thing I will tell you is I'm going to show you how I die cut all of the pieces for this kind of on the next card, because I didn't want to kind of belabor things too much. So what I'm going to show you, I've got those already cut, right? So I'm going to tell you about dimensions. So first of all, we have, this is our, what's this called? Uh, Daffodil Delight, Daffodil Delight card base. So along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our card base, always with our nice crisp fold on our card, right? Then we have a piece of, this is the Coastal Cabana cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches, right? And then our Whisper White piece that measures three and three quarter by five inches, okay? So these are all gonna layer on here. And this is what was kind of tricky, was people didn't realize like don't put anything on the card until after we do our die cutting and layer it on our white piece and I'll show you what I mean by that. So this blue one you could technically put on, we're gonna do that a little bit later. But we've got our white piece. I already did my die cutting with my dies right here and I'll show you how simple and easy this is um, with the next card that we make. But so this little grid line one I did in Coastal Cabana and in Daffodil Delight, and then this plaid one I did in Calypso Coral, okay? So those are already cut, and I'll, like I said, I'll show you on the next one how easy really it is to do this die cutting, okay? So the next step is to grab our adhesive, and I'm gonna use my little mat right here, and then I also have some cheat sheet notes to make sure, so that I put it on in the proper order. So the first thing I wanna do is with my little uh, Daffodil Delight grid, I'm just gonna add some adhesive um, basically to these little corner things here, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna add it to our Whisper White piece. And it doesn't really matter kind of where you put this because everything else is just going to kind of line up around that piece. Okay, so we've got that one. Next, we want to add, and you can see this is huge. What we're going to do is we're going to add adhesive, put it on here, and then we're going to trim around everything. That's why it was important to not put this piece on your card at class, and I didn't catch some people in time. So anyway, I'm going to stop worrying about that because that is what it is. So when it doesn't run, then you just pop it over onto, you saw how I used this little mat here. And sometimes it just doesn't. I don't know if I don't flick my wrist quite right or what happens, but okay. So now we are going to, and the idea is you just want to decide like where do you want your yellow? This one I'm gonna put kind of down in like the bottom left corner, thinking that my blue is gonna go in that top right corner then, okay? So we've got that there, okay? I'm trying not to wiggle too much, all right? So then we're gonna flip over our Coastal Cabana piece, and again, we're just gonna add some adhesive in the corners here, okay? And then this one I'm gonna lay over, and I want it to be, like I said, kind of in the top, like of this little square, I want it to be in that top right corner of each of them. Okay, so as long as that, and you know, honestly, if it's not exactly perfect, there's enough going on with this card, you're not even gonna really notice, okay? So I'm gonna flip this over and press really firmly. I clearly have a little bit of adhesive on my fingers, but that's okay. All right, so next step is basically 
to just grab your scissors and trim this off, okay? And little bits and pieces are gonna fly everywhere. And the one thing that I did notice, again, like I said, there's so much going on with this card that if I snip onto my white cardstock a little bit, um, or you know, if it's not exactly like straight, perfect, I really don't think you even notice, okay? So we're just trimming this whole thing down, okay? And I'll show you what I mean, because I don't think I cut my other layer perfectly. If you guys can see the one that's kind of right up here in the front. <gasps> oh, storm! Sorry, guys, there must be a dog walking by. <laughs> and he's, storm! Buddy, we're on Facebook Live. We have to be quiet and use our manners, storm. Storm, enough. Thank you, thank you. Okay, you need to go now. No more barking. Ugh, he, he makes that little oh, noise. Oh, whatever. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to clean off my little mat here too because I think I'm going to need it for next time. He's all huffing and puffing. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, so we're just cleaning this off a little bit, trying to get the bits out of the way. I probably have totally moved. Are we still in view? I think pretty much. Okay, oops, I didn't get all the bits. That's okay. All right, so there. So you can see, I mean, it might not be ex uh, absolutely straight, but I think it's good enough. I think you don't even really notice. So now we are going to, and actually I do want quite a bit of adhesive because we've got technically, and you see how when that didn't run, I just went back to an area that did have adhesive and that helps it run for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna layer this one. Oops, it's like sticking to my finger, okay. So there's that. Oops, I got one on there too. And then again, we're gonna add some more adhesive. Quite a bit of adhesive around the edges. A lot of times I just go in the four corners, but this one has so many layers on it. I want to be careful to put enough on there so it doesn't fall off the card, right? Okay, and I'm gonna just kind of do that. I think there, pressing really firmly on the back of it to get it all stuck on there, right? So you see how kind of quick and simple and easy that was, right? So next step is we are gonna stamp and do our die cutting for our sentiment there, okay? So I've just got some scraps of Whisper White and um, Daffodil Delight. I have my Daffodil Delight ink pad. Okay, so we're just gonna open that baby up. And let's see, did I bring? All right, we're good. We're gonna do, I've got my Hip Hip Hooray. We're just gonna stamp that. Right on there, always that nice, easy tap, tap, tap. We are seeing that at class that some people like to do more of a squish, 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 and we try to avoid that. Okay, so now we are going to grab our new stamp and cut and emboss machine and make sure it's right in view there. So again, because I'm die cutting, I'm gonna use platform one and platform two, and then one of my clear cutting pads, number three. Then I'm gonna put my paper down on here, I'm gonna grab my dies. Oh yeah, so these are my Hippo and Friends dies. These are what we're giving away with that, like just at least a $30 order. You're gonna get this whole set of dies that includes the little hippos. Sorry, there's some guy going by in a super loud uh, motorcycle. They, I think they're like attention grabber people. <laughs> you know, when it's that loud. Okay, so we've got these couple of labels. I've actually got a couple of them on the back side. We're using these, but the smaller version, and then these little babies too. And this isn't even all of them, because the other, yeah, I'm using these three on the cards that we're making today. So here, we are using these two right here, and then on the next card, we're gonna use that baby right there. So I'm gonna pop that in over there. I feel like there's one more of that size too. I think there is, I think we used it on another card because I think it's like three of each of these. So look at all these labels, right? Three of that size, three of that size, and three of that size, and then some other, look a little squiggly too. Have fun with that one also. Okay, so that one goes there, and that one goes there. Okay, there we go. Now this one is not magnetic. We are not able to order the magnetic platform quite yet. Um, so just have to be a little bit careful to make sure that things don't move on you. So here, can you see the stitching? They are great dies, aren't they, Susan? 
Yep, okay, so there's the stitching on that one, and then the next size, more stitching on that one, right? Okay, so let's get those out of the way. Let's get this thing out of the way here, too. Okay, so we're gonna add some adhesive behind this thing right here, this thing, our sentiment, I guess I'm gonna say, right? We got that there and that there, right? And then we need some dimensionals and I'm gonna put a few on because I'm gonna have my ribbon behind here and I always like to um, make sure I have enough sticky to kind of hold everything on there. Okay, so we are gonna use, this is our Daffodil Delight, that the ruched ribbon and we are just, I'm gonna kind of try to measure out the length here. We'll try about that long there. And I'm just gonna add some adhesive where I want my ribbon to go. We're just gonna do a little bit of that there. So we're gonna kind of in half with this little guy right there. So we're just gonna layer that Maybe right about there like that, right? And then we're gonna peel our dimensionals off. <laughs> oh yes, the colors, you like them, Philomena? I know, like just fun, bright, summery colors. I, I love them too. So there's our hip hip hooray. I just want to, I have to kind of cut that a little bit more of an angle there. And then last step, because you always have to have a little bit of bling, right? So these are the Artistry Blooms Adhesive Backed Sequins. Um, oh, who's, oh, Monica's saying she'd love to win the dies. Yes, they are awesome. Just put your online order in of at least $30 and you could be the winner of these awesome dies. Okay, so these are, so what do we have? Um, I think Okay, ladies, I can't even tell you the colors. I cannot remember, and I feel like actually, nope, there is one more, yep, okay. So we've got kind of a blue, that, so I'm gonna say maybe Pool Party, maybe Rich Razzleberry, uh, maybe Calypso, I feel like one was like a mango though. Maybe that's, maybe that's mango and maybe Calypso. Anyway, they're beautiful, right? So you kind of, can you see? I love the colors. Kind of the fun, bright, like purple, blue, orange, yellowy is kind of what I'm gonna say because I'm not quite sure of the exact color names, but they're beautiful. So we are gonna use one of what I'm calling kind of a yellow. Um, again, I'm just not sure of the actual name, but they're, they're listed in the catalog. We're gonna just grab one of these. Oops, so there's a glue dot underneath there, so you just wanna make sure you get underneath there. I'm gonna put that right there, okay? So that's it for that first card. Right, is that fun? Oh good, I'm correct on the colors. Okay, okay, awesome. <laughs> oh, let's see, I'm seeing all these comments, yes. <laughs> oh, so the dyes, Susan, you're saying if you're making, I'm making you want to purchase those plaid dyes. I don't know their name. So the name of them is, let's see, it's on the back right here. The Best Plaid Builder Dyes. <laughs> and Sharon's saying, I have the dyes and I need to use them more. Well, hopefully this will be inspiring you to use them more. So the best plaid builder dyes, and they are bundled with the best year stamp set. I probably should have shown you those again, right? Because I did that at first. But yeah, best year stamp set, best plaid builder dyes. So we used um, the Hip Hip Hooray on the outside. And then actually, I forgot another piece of Whisper White to go on the inside here. But on this one, I did stamp. Happy birthday to you. So hip, hip, hooray, happy birthday to you. Or you could say, you did it, would be another fun one to go on the inside there too. So pretend that that's on the inside of that one also, okay? And that also reminds me too that, um, let's see, colors, dimensions, item codes of everything that we use will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, so gatheringinspiration.com. They'll be on this afternoon after I get everything uploaded um, to my blog and to YouTube and Facebook and everywhere, okay? So, but those are the things, that's what you're gonna need. The essentials are the best year stamp set and the best plaid builder dies to actually put that card together, okay? You guys are all, there are so many comments. Okay, yes, I'm being very helpful. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I appreciate that. And oh, I'm glad you like the card too, Miss uh, Philomena. Okay, all right, I think I saw all the comments. I hate to miss.